Everybody, shut up! And action! Sports anime tend to be some of the best anime I watch, particularly I'm a sports junkie who likes to play a lot of different sports. But this anime we're talking about today is called Rising Impact. And it's an anime about golf, about a guy who's like five, six years old, seven years old, I don't even know his age. All I know is that he's a really young kid. His goal in life is to be the guy who can hit the ball the furthest. He thought the sport you can hit the ball the furthest is a baseball. So he was always working on his swing, making sure he can hit the ball the furthest, furthest than anyone in the MLB. And he's just working on his skill at that. And then he gets introduced to golf. And he finds out you can hit the ball even further with a golf, in golf. Like the golf ball just flies further when you hit it with the golf, uh, when you hit it with the driver. So he is addicted to hitting the ball with the driver and he's addicted to the sport now. And this entire anime goes through the entire progress of, oh, um, I'm a kid. I want to play golf. I want to play golf competitively now. I want to get better at playing pro golf as in the golf nine course, the 18 course, 18 whole games. But like at the same time, I will still keep my goal of trying to hit the ball the furthest. And it's just a really wholesome anime of this five, uh, really young kid learning the sport, wanting to be go pro in it and wanting to be better at it in general. He lives in the countryside with his grandpa and now he has to leave him and go to the city to develop himself at the sport, working with a stranger he just met. And honestly, it's an absolute beauty of a show. Like there are plenty of moments at the start where you're like, oh my God, this is so cringe but like as you keep going through you just find yourself hooked hooked more and like the first season of the show like um i call it part one and part two but apparently it's called season one and season two on netflix but like i watched part one season one whatever early this year and i was absolutely hooked and like the one downside to it is like every time he meets someone new it's like huh a kid playing golf what the hell is this like there are moments where it's like okay it's just like a group of bullies and it's like okay yeah they're gonna get shown up by him easily but then it's like every other main character who's like a big obstacle for him it's like a kid oh <laughs> well, well he, he really thinks he can play the sport and then they get surprised and they're like okay i'll warm up to him and then they become sort of best of friends and that's how it really goes with every single thing it's like season one it's like that with every single person some people aren't mean but they just indifferent towards him and then they start loving him and uh, some people are mean to him but then they start loving him and he just grows on them and yes at some for some characters it's a beauty to watch him grow on people who grow their relationship change the relationship their relationships develop further and it's a beauty to watch especially the story unfolding how they continues to grow this kid is becoming one of the best golfers not just because of his talent but because of his genes and everything else and it, and all this training working in the countryside is really helping his lower body and it's a beauty to watch that but then season two continues the same way yes at the beginning you start cringing all over again and then it develops through the same storyline oh i'm indifferent towards you oh, i'm bullying you i'm this that and then they start growing and yes it's repeating the same thing and you get a little annoyed by that but at the same time it's just a beauty of character development like each character grows on it in a different way sort of way and it's just a beauty to watch all the hidden nuances of oh this is foreshadowing that something's going to happen in the first season oh and it's happening in the second season yes there's a lot going on that's being foreshadowed really nicely and it's a really entertaining watch from that perspective of seeing oh is his dad in Europe is his dad a professional golfer what is this what is this relationship between his grandfather and this person what is his relationship between his grandfather and golf there's a lot of questions you're getting thought in your head inherently and you push the back of your mind inherently watching understanding this narrative seeing how this kid is going from uh, uh, being a uh, new guy at golf and already one of the best golfers in his age group and like just everyone he's playing with he goes to a professional golf school and is already one of the best golfers there and then holy crap in the second season i'm not spoiling i'm not going to say anything but like holy crap the the things that go through get you on the edge of your seat going like, oh yes please the tension is real you're emotionally engaged with all the characters you're emotionally engaged with the story and holy all the epic moments are epic all the character moments are just epic. Everything in this anime is epic. Like, yes, there are the cringe moments when you start watching, but, like, then you get through real fast and you're addicted. You're hooked. And, like, end season two, it started getting cringe again. And I was like, okay, I'm getting back into this after a while. Maybe that's why it's cringe. But then you give it a chance, like, an episode in your back to normal and go engage with the story hooked in the narrative was absolute beauty i need a season two like i mean no it's season one season two but i call it part one part two if you want to call it season three netflix please make a season three of this anime i need it soon this anime looks so good i need to see how this story continues on i mean it kind of has a nice concluded ending and it's beautiful season one to season two but like i need to see more on this on how the characters will develop even further especially after seeing how good he is at golf i just want to see more and see him develop to his true potential this anime is a beauty it's an amazing golf anime if you like golf if you want to learn golf if you want to just watch a cool guy playing a sport and be absolutely brilliant this is the anime to check out i want to go hit a golf course i haven't played golf in a while so i think it'll be fun to go revisit that and i've been wanting to go anyway so this is just an excuse to motivate me to actually get off my butt and go play golf but like yeah 
this is epic. This is an anime to check out for sure. It's called Rising Impact. I give it a solid 85. No, I want to give it a solid 87%. I loved it. Uh, this is definitely one to check out, so go check it out. Peace.